Ijo out of Biafra, Odudua says, IYC, Ijo Youth Council. The Ijo Youth Council worldwide has warned persons and groups agitating for the republics of Biafra and Odudua to leave the Ijo nationality out of their missions. The Ijo Youth Council, in a statement at the weekend by its chairman, National Transition and Implementation Committee, Kennedy Olorogun, to mark the Isaac Adaka Borode, said it would not allow any of the Ijo territories to be annexed by such agitators. Olorogun said the Ijo first started the agitation for independence and self-determination through its late hero, Boro, creating the awareness that led to the emergence of similar quests by other ethnic nationalities. He said, today the Ijo nation is confronted with the renewed quest for nationalism within the Nigerian geopolitical arrangement. This may have compelled other tribes groups and ethnic nationalities in the country, such as the Odudua and various movements, championing the Biafra cause to renew their agitation for self-determination. Whilst the Ijo nation is not adverse to their cause, the forced annexation and fraudulent redrawing of the geographical boundaries of the Ijo territories into their dream nations would no longer be tolerated. We are seizing this medium to inform the promoters and sponsors of the Odudua and Biafra republics that they should not include Ijo territories in their acclaimed nations. The Ijo's are domiciled in Ondo, Edo, Delta, by Yelsa, Rivers, and Akwaibom states and are prominently resident in all the states of the Niger Delta. In this wise, the Oduduas and the Biafra secessionists should leave Ijo territories out of their utopian republics. Ijo's are capable of governing themselves. In this vein, the Ijo nation are watching the unfolding events within the Nigerian polity, and at fullness of time, the Ijo nation would state their position. The Olorogo further condemned the influx of Almajiris from the north into Ijo territories, despite the ongoing closure of borders and lockdowns in various states. He said, while the Ijo remained accommodating to visitors, they were no longer comfortable with the kind of people coming into their territories from the north. He said, from our findings, their coming may not be far from their jihadic and conquest mission. The Ijo nation is not a conquered territory. Let it be clear that we can defend ourselves. Therefore, we are using this historic opportunity to urge the Nigerian states to commence the process of the devolution and unbundling of the Nigerian state, which would enable the subnational entities to contribute significantly to the growth of the country. Finally, Isaac Boro's contribution or contributing to the raging debate to restructure the nation would remain indelible. If we want this country to move on a fast lane of development, making the various states to contribute to national development is inevitable. Our goal, as enunciated in the Kayama Declaration, is self-determination and resource control. We shall not deviate from it. The first amalgamation of the independent nation, states of Ijo nation, into an unviable Nigerian project has arrested the huge potentials 
of the Ijo people. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? The Ijo people are claiming uh, self-determination right now under the auspices of the Ijo Youth Council. And they have said that uh, nobody should uh, join them to any other ritual, as in they are self-dependent on their own. So they say, count Ijo out of Biafra and Odudua republics. So guys, what are your thoughts? Do you think they have what it takes to stay on their own? You recall and remember that while Namdekano presented uh, the states to the United Nations that will make up Biafra, it was said that um, the Ijo, the Ijo uh, states, which uh, comprises of the Bayelsa states, River states, Delta states, probably Edo states, I think, were part of the states that uh, made up Biafra, according to Nam de Kano. So uh, now that this uh, group are coming out to say, count Ijo out of Biafra and Odudua, so what is the implication and what does it actually transpire or trans uh, translate to, I beg your pardon? What does it actually mean at the end of the day? It, what it means is that the, uh, the, the Ijo nation, they want to be on their own as Ijo nations and not under the Biafra uh, Republic, as it were. And it will not be unconnected, if you ask me, it will not be unconnected to the issue of the resources, uh, the oil that is domiciled majorly, majorly in the Ijo nations or in the Ijo states the, of the Federation. So be that as it were, do you think the Ijo's are ready to be on their own? Do you think they have what it takes to actually be on their own? Are they mature enough or are they, do they have what it takes to actually remain on their own, uh, stay on their own and manage their resources effectively? Now, they are also saying that it is either you give us or if you restructure the country, meaning that if you are going to restructure the country, they have said that all states will have to be contributing their own quota to the government, meaning that all states will be allowed to manage their resources and also make contributions to the federal government. So now, these are their terms and their conditions. Can this be met? Can other states actually meet this criteria? So you can see now that if this condition is anything to go by, it's going to actually be difficult for uh, uh, it's going to be difficult for Nigeria to be restructured. It's going to be difficult for um, you know other country, other nations, sorry, other states, you know, to fall in line and to meet up with these criteria. So guys, what are the best option for Nigeria as it were? What is the best option so far? Considering how things are going, considering what are uh, the peculiarities that surround um, the Ijo uh, nation, the Nigeria as it were, the amalgamation of this country, bringing the East, the West, the North, the South all together. What do you think is the best way out or the solution as it were? Because we actually need to look for a way or to find a solution to these issues, these challenges. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? I would like to hear from you what your thoughts are on this particular news story. It is really, really um, giving a huge concern as other region or other, uh, yes, other tribe or regions are beginning to uh, form their own group and beginning to ask and seek for self-determination. This was not the case during the previous administrations. So I wonder why it is now the case or it is becoming a serious issue under this present administration. If Fora goes to tell us that something is somehow wrong or this government is doing a lot of things or some things wrong, you know, that is making people to rise up and uh, wanting to fight for their own self-determination. Well, I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, be that as it were, you know, uh, we can do things better and we can get things right if we truly want to. 
but it's what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story uh please kindly drop out the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel also please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now